Hi everyone, my name is Steve and I'm here to talk up to teach you about balance. I'm going to give you three tips on how to improve your balance. One is practice single leg standing. So if you're in a, you know, just find a hard surface and just stand on one leg and try to hold it for as long as you can, probably around one to two minutes and maybe stand beside a wall so if you fall it's easier to catch yourself and as you get better you start challenging with movement pace so front side and turn front side and turn it doesn't have to be a big movement just small movement and if you want to challenge yourself bring it further up so the reason for standing on one leg that's how you activate the your stabilizer muscles or your balance muscles your peroneals, your adductors, and your glute medius. If you're better than that, you can challenge yourself with a uneven surface, like just this stair band mat, rubber mat, and you could stand. So it's going to challenge to your foot to be more wobbly and do the same, whether it's standing on one leg or do the movement base to the maybe 12 to 15 repetition or hold it for one to two minutes okay you know one thing about balance we take it for granted when we're younger and as we get older we realize it's not as the same as when we were younger so a lot it's a lot to do with our inner ear or our vestibular system that causes us to be aware of our spatial environment and our balance so as we get older that tends to affect us but uh but just like any other athlete or younger person you could improve your balance in your 80s or 90s <clears throat> to prevent you from falling actually statistics shows there are 30 to 50 percent uh who in a year who fall uh, never recover never recover according to the CDC or Center for Control for Disease Control Prevention that they re they realize how there's so many people who, are, who fall they never recover. So we want to be on the on the preventive side by developing our balance. <clears throat> this is another tool I use to develop balance. Uh, you could it's a half of a, um, a foam roller and use the one with a bigger base of support and just stand in one leg you know stand on one leg and you could either stand still or do it with movement base and you could switch to the other side to make it more challenging so this is more the challenge the frontal plane there's three planes and this is the we call it sagittal plane forward and back or to make it harder, you can use the Bosu ball. And normally it will shake like this. You know, just wait and be patient for 30 to 30 seconds to a minute, and your brain will calibrate and you'll be able to improve your balance. So just the same way, stand close to the wall. Uh, another way to improve your balance is to improve your flexibility. So our knee, you bend your knee. There's a foot between my heel to my knee and four inches. I should be able to stretch without lifting my heels. So you need that mobility in your ankle. Because our ankle also uh, flexes forward or plantar flex. There should be no space here. If there's space, that means it's tight. And ankle as well move side to side. So you want those muscles to be stretched. And lastly, look for a qualified professional to help you find the right exercise for you. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Steve. Keep balancing.